Hey, welcome to Spinal Mobility Day. So you don't need um, a warm up for this workout because the movement is the warm up today. All you need is a mat and yourself and you're ready to go. So go ahead, place your feet and I want you to think about your hip bones while you're trying to find them right there. Palpate them, your little bony prominences on your hips. And I want you to think about drawing the movement pattern that I'm gonna show you um, with these bones, okay? So imagine you've got magic markers on your hip bones. And what I want you to do is start to draw a circle, kind of a hula hoop. Draw a big circle and start to move those hips. Move your pelvis and your low back. One more. Now go other direction. Draw that circle in the other direction. So I've got magic markers here. I'm drawing some circles. It looks silly, but it's just you and me, so nobody else, unless you're just doing this in a public place. One more. All right, next thing, I want you to rock your hips side to side. Side, 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 side. And again, nobody's here but me and you. Nobody will see you. You got four and three and two and one. Now take the hips, draw circles again. Give me two more. Give me one more. Now switch directions, other direction. So see my feet are flat. My knees are soft while I'm drawing these circles. Now go side to side. Side, side, side with the hips. Four, three, no restrictions, just feel it. Okay, last one that you're gonna draw with this, think about this one hip bone. I want you to draw a figure eight, a sideways eight, infinity pattern. So, so circle around, sideways eight. This is a little brain work, isn't it? Come on. One more. If you mess it up, don't worry about it, right? Nobody knows but me. Now with your other hip, circle around. All I'm doing is taking one hip and I'm circling around to the other side. One more time. There we go. Now let's put all of this together so far. Get your magic markers out. Circles with the hips. I'm doing about four on each side, four in each direction. Now go the other direction. It should feel good. It just looks silly, right? <laughs> I've just got my dogs watching me. Now my hips are going side to side. My knees are soft. Four, three, two, no restrictions. Now with this hip, I want you to draw a sideways eight. Do another one. All right, now take this hip, ready? Sideways eight. Come on. Now. Walk around. You feel looser? Did it loosen up? Feels good. Okay, so here's the next one. So keep your feet planted, your knees soft, okay? We're just gonna do side bend, come back to the center. Side bend, just loose side bends. Let the hip bend freely. There you go. Four more, little lateral flexion. Two more, I'm trying to move that spine in all directions, flexion, extension, and rotation. Now we're gonna rotate, and the arms are gonna follow. They're just gonna swing out, and then gradually bring the arms up to where you've got long lever rotations. Now, knees are soft. All right, guys, you got four more. Four, three, two, and I go back to those side bends. So side bend, side bend. Give me two more. There you go. Now start to rotate. Four, three, make bigger arms. Two, and one. Go back to the side bends. Side bend, just let that hand slide down. Remember those hips move freely. Now add the rotation, swing the arms. And again, all this should feel good. If it doesn't, then we need to stop, okay? All right, so that's that for standing. I want you to come down to the ground, and then the other option is to use a piece of furniture, and I will have this up at the top of the screen for you to follow if you use the chair option. But for right now, I'm gonna go ahead and film this on hands and knees. So, this is a quadruped position, so my hips are over my knees, and my shoulders are over the wrists, okay? And I'm gonna kinda angle so you can see. Now I want you to relax the belly, lift the head. Now, I want you to tuck the chin and tuck the pelvis, so try to look at your ribs 
and this should feel really good. Relax the belly, lift the head, and then tuck the chin, tuck the pelvis. Here we go, so four counts. Relax the belly, lift the head, and then tuck the chin, tuck the pelvis. Now speed it up. Relax the belly, lift the head, tuck the chin, tuck the pelvis. Lift, and then round out. So we're just alternating from flexion and extension. One more. All right, that's it. You're going to come back to neutral. All right, don't get mad at me. We're going to do some more circles. I want you to take the hips, those hip bones, and draw circles from this position, just like we did standing. I want to show you the difference in how it feels. Now reverse those circles. It's hula hooping from the knees. Two more. There we go. Now cat cow. Relax the belly, lift the head. Round out and tuck. One more time. Relax the belly, lift the head. Round out and tuck. Now draw circles. Two more. Now reverse directions. Give me two more. If you're uncomfortable with these, keep doing cat cow. That's it. Okay, we're gonna go all the way down, all the way down, prone position. So you can do this on the floor or you can do this on your bed, okay? So elbows in, I'm looking straight down at the mat. Don't hyperextend your neck, okay? All right, so hands by your chest. Looking straight down, relax all the way down. Now watch me one time and then you join me. I want you to inhale, lift the chest off the mat. And then I want you to exhale and I want you to lift your belly off the mat or lift your hips off the mat if you can. Come all the way down. If that is not comfortable for you, just lift the chest and then come back down, okay? Try it with me, here we go. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, lift the belly or stay right there. Lower down. Do it one more time. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, lift the belly. Stretch the front abdominal. Lower down. One more time. Inhale, lift the chest. Now stay here or come up higher. Now go back to child's pose. So you bring your knees around. You drop back. Drop the hips back. And I'll show you an option up in the box for this. Drop your hips back, spread your fingers, push your arms away. Deep breath. Exhale. Good, one more deep breath. Exhale. We're gonna flip you over. Come on up. You're gonna to go to seated, and now I want you to flip over in a supine position. So on your back, I've got three more things to do. So my heels are in close, my hands are by my side, or they can go out to the side like a T. Take the knees and drop them over to one side. I call these wipers. So you're stretching the outside of that hip and getting some rotation in the spine. Take the knees to the other side. This is also a really good mobility thing to do in the morning when you get up. So before I get out of bed, I do this a little bit. Sometimes I add a, uh, add a little noise, stretch noise to it, just for effect. It's a good stretch for the outside of the hip, but also good rotation for the spine. All right, go back to the center. So I want you to bring both knees in. Here's one, here's the other. Now imagine you've got magic markers on your knees. Draw some circles. A lot of visualization today. And this should feel good. Little love for the back. Now reverse circles. You can do one knee at a time as well. All right, put the feet down. I want you to go back to those wipers. Let's do four of them. Over to one side, back through the center, over to the other side. Here's number three. And here's number four. Now bring the knees in, draw some circles. Give me four in each direction. You can spend as much time on these as you want. 
reverse circles. Again, you're just giving your back some love. There we go, put both feet down. So I want you to take one foot, ankle crosses over, so I'm making a figure four, okay? Hands out to the side or down by your side, either one. All I want you to do is go back to that wiper motion and pull across, nice stretch for that hip. Good, let's make it active. Bring it up, pull it across. Inhale here, exhale here. Inhale, exhale. Working on mobility, so we wanna keep this active, okay? Inhale here, exhale here. Go back to the center, switch feet, put the other ankle across. Pull it across, kind of get the sensation of where your end range is. Come back to the center. Inhale, exhale. Now I'm tighter on this side, so I can't go as far. And you pay attention to what it does to your body. Again, a little discomfort's okay, but it shouldn't hurt. One more. And then exhale back to the center uncross the legs bring the arms in i want you to roll over on the side and come on up that's it you have finished spinal mobility and i'll see you at the next workout